Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to our video series on solving for the core of an exchange economy. Here's another example. Let's go. So consider our simple exchange economy where we have uh, two consumers and two goods. Our preferences for consumer A and B are going to both be quasi-linear. However, for good X, uh, for consumer A, that's going to enter in a squared manner and good Y is going to come in linearly and for consumer B, it's going to go the other way around. The size of our economy, meaning that the number of goods uh, in motion as you know, determined by our resource constraint is going to be, you know, one, right? There's going to be one of good X and one of good Y. And uh, these are, you know, perfectly divisible goods and the allocation first starts out with all of good Y uh, being in consumer A's pocket and all of good uh, X being in consumer B's pocket. So the way that we're going to go and solve this problem is that step one is that we're going to note our consumer's utility from just consuming the endowment. Then we're going to write our optimality conditions followed by using our resource constraints to go and derive two versions of the contract curve through the perspective of consumer A and the perspective of consumer B. Uh, step number four is that we're going to use the contract curve, utility functions, and initial utilities to solve for the allocation which constitutes the core of the economy. And step number five is that we're going to define over what range and conditions does the core exist. This includes the contract curve, uh, the resource constraint, and the range where the core is present. So going forward from step number one is that we're going to note our consumer's utility from just consuming the endowment. That's just going to be one and one. Step number two is that we're going to write out our optimality conditions, uh, which is our marginal rate of substitution for consumer A is going to be equal to the marginal rate of substitution for consumer B. And that's going to be 2xA is equal to 1 all over 2yB. Uh, step number three is that we're going to use the resource constraint to derive uh, two versions of the contract curve. So from consumer A's perspective, uh, this is just going to be defined as xA is equal to 1 all over 2 1 minus YA. And from consumer B's point of view, with use of the resource constraint, we're going to go and define that uh, contract curve for him in terms of YB tilde. And that's going to be equal to 1 all over 2, 1 minus XB. Moving on to step number four is that if we use these contract curves, our utility functions and initial utilities, we can solve for the allocation which constitutes the core of the economy. So we go and we say here that UA, right, at its optimum must be at least as good as, you know, this allocation. So that's where we say the core must go and lie. Um, rearranging and solving for YA, we go and we get a number, right, which is what we want because this is an allocation. We have YA star must be greater than or equal to one minus the cube root of one fourth. Conversely, by considering consumer B's preferences and baseline utility, we get the same sort of shape. Um, this time we're going and plugging in for YB because that's the contract curve that we derived previously. And we get that X B star must be greater than one minus the cube root of one fourth. We can use these results for uh, an X, B, and Y, A, and sub them in to go and obtain uh, those results from our contract curve. So we just take these start results and we plug them in to our contract curve equations. Step number five is that we define over what range and conditions does the core exist. So I'm, you know, writing this out in a very specific manner. I don't think in my previous video uh, it was so clear, but um, we're going and saying that there's this contract curve, meaning that there's a specific length over which this, uh, you know, this core is defined, right? There's a certain path that is defined. Um, there's the resource constraint, which is, you know, defining the size of our economy and the core, meaning that, you know, how most people would go and ask for it. And I don't think I was specific in my previous video is going to be defined by, you know, these two uh, you know, points to know by X, A, Y, A star and X, B, Y, B star. And we're going to get this sort of allocation over here. This is a big mess. And, and this one all over two uh, times the cubed root of one fourth, that's just from uh, subbing in 
our values that we got uh, of one minus the square root of one fourth, right, or the cube root of one fourth into our contract curve to go get those values. So this is the core of our economy. Um, so that's another example of how we solve for the core of our economy. Again, if there are any mistakes in this video, please let me know in the comments below. Take care.